Thomas. I'm Kath. We thought we'd do a video today to show you our Tenamoy 13. We've had it for six months so far and so far it's been pretty good. Uh, we haven't had any issues so far. Um, we, when we did our research there wasn't much on YouTube uh, about the, the Tanamoy or other hybrids for that matter. So we thought we'd do up our own and share that with everyone else. Anyway, let's go and have a look. Thought I'd just start off at the front. Um, we have done a few modifications to this, but we've put a DO35 uh, hitch. Um, it comes out uh, standing with um, with a different hitch, but we we, we put a DO35 because uh, most of our family are using it. Obviously, you've got your handbrake up the front here. Uh, that's all standard. Heavy duty chains. Um, it's also uh, an Anderson plug that comes standard with with uh, with this setup. So um, that's to put power inside uh, from your car inside to the uh, BMS30 inside the, the van. It's also come stand with a breakaway system so um, that connects to your car and if you know you do have a major mishap um, that disconnects here and locks the brakes up on your caravan. Uh, one last thing it came standard with an ARC 30 uh, jockey wheel. They're pretty expensive and uh, top quality gear so uh, yeah good gear. Uh, didn't come standard with this. Um, this is a the stone guard that we've put on um, just to protect the front of the van. They are uh, pretty easy to mount. In fact, uh, I've just got two pins that I can just pull and I can remove this in basically 30 seconds. Uh, the front we've got um, a full lockout storage. Inside here we've got two nine kilo uh, gas bottles and you've got um, room for two well, in fact, you could probably put in four 20-litre uh, jerry cans, so whether that's fuel or, or water. Um, we don't put too much on this side because uh, there's holes in the bottom to vent out any LPG if you inadvertently have uh, an LPG leak, but that's just our sullage hose in there. Um, I've also got my bottle jack, uh, a few lengths of timber, um, hose and toilet chemicals and a few other things in here. Um, but that's about it in there. Um, you also have an additional uh, box here, so inside there is where all your tent poles go. I think it's a really great add-on that Oztrack have put on, so it keeps your tent poles outside of your tongue boot. Um, we've only got a few tent poles in there, but we've got a lot of, uh, uh, of other bits and pieces in there, like our anti-flap kit stored in there as well. I've also got um, four drop-down legs that just give you stability for the van when you've got it set up. All these cabinets are fully lockable. Um, one key fits pretty much all. This is the fridge slide area. Um, we normally have a, a very large 95 litre fridge in here. Works brilliantly. Um, and if you have a, a closer look inside, you can see that you've got 240 volt power, a 12 volt uh, cigarette plug, and also a 12 volt Anderson plug. Plus you've got a little exhaust fan to take the heat um, that, have, that you get built up while you're running a fan in a cabinet area. This is the uh, tunnel boot. Tunnel boot, there's also a door on the other side, it goes all the way through here. We've got lots of stuff stored up in our tunnel boot, so to give you an idea, we've got our two chairs, we've got a table, we've got a couple of uh, stands. We've got um, our full any flat kit uh, shady walls. We've got our sea gear mat. All of it goes up in here. It's not particularly heavy stuff, but uh, all that stuff that fills up a lot of area, but it's a great little spot. This is what we call our little cafe bar. So uh, just open it up. So basically I keep all my oils and you know, well we have always spare toilet paper, I have my uh, paper towel, all the coolers because you know we always have guests that come over, our cups, and we've got our sugar tea and coffee. And this is just our go to area off and I might set up the kettle and the um, toaster up on here so it's very handy. I do love this. So. Okay. This here is a 240 plug, so this is what we actually attach with things like our toaster and, and kettle and things like that. This here is like where I put all my dry goods, um, my canned goods, into this little pantry area. So things like my garbage bags, all the cleaners and things like that, little fry pans, all the little canned goods go in here. So um, 
I basically keep all my other goods inside the van, but this is what I store here. So things like your baked beans and all that sort of stuff I store in this one. It's just a quick and easy to go to with the kitchen and everything. This is our slide out kitchen. It's fully stainless steel. It's a pretty good setup and pretty quick as well. So it just comes out like this. Uh, we just use this shelf to fold down here and put our uh, baby Weber Q on. But you've also got these flip arounds here that you can put it as a windbreak uh, against your stove top if you want. Um, four burner gas stove. The, um, you got hot and cold running water here to the sink. Uh, that's set up all the time. The gas for the stove goes down here by these quick connects on the gas. And uh, the second one there is for when we have our Weber, when we're cooking pizzas or roasts or steaks and things like that. All right, so here's my drawers over here. This one here we can't put much in. That's just the hosing for the sink itself. But we do have a long hose that comes out of there. Uh, these are my cutlery drawers, just there. And plenty of room as you can see, so that's all great. about this yes we've got our little side table here where I do all the prep work and everything like that so it actually comes in handy I have that there the weather there and sometimes I have my another drying rack here as well but I do use this as a drying rack too we keep these covers on the stove top too while traveling but we do store these back into our little storage cabinet up there so um, just keeps us all safe and just stops it from moving around especially when we're gonna go off grid so yeah the legs coming come down as well but we won't pull them out today okay down the back here um this is the refill point for our rear water tank so we've got two water tanks a uh, 120 at the front and a 120 liter at the, at the rear and there's also an 80 liter gray water tank underneath so water goes in here um, and also if you're hooking up to mains water it just goes on this quick connect right here so that's the water this is just a gas vent here for the um, for the hot water system. It's a Truma hot water system. So actually one of the guys of, um, of our Facebook site makes these up and uh, does a fabulous job. So we've just fitted um, a, a nice cover that he's made up for us. So that doesn't come quite standard. That's the uh, aerial here for the uh, radio. Not that I've ever used it as radio yet. Just played, played my own tunes on it. 240 volts in. I've just put a little hook up there so you don't have uh, extra strain on the plug all the time. Um, we also have an external shower. So if you have a look here, there's got your know, hot and cold water. Um, this is great if you're just washing the dogs or if you want to wash your, uh, your feet off at the beach. It just you know, comes out. It's great. With the shower too, if, you, um, if you're off grid, you can either have a shower inside, which we'll show you later. But uh, see that bit of sail track up there, you can actually set up an external shower. Uh, over here we've got um, the toilet, so it's a Thetford toilet. Uh, you just got your standard cassette, so that's what it looks like. Take it out on the wheels, wheel it away, empty it when you need to, but uh, 20 litres, um, good system. Remember I talked about the tunnel boot before? This is the other end of the tunnel boot. So you can actually see there now I've got, uh, I've got a fold up table there. I've got, looks like a few shady walls for um, when we set up our, uh, our annex. And um, that's my uh, sea gear um, floor mat. And plus we've got a, we have a couple of these little chairs as well that we, uh, little stools that we use as well that we take with us as well as the big chairs. Uh, each one of these cabinets, by the way, when you open up, there's a little light detector here, so it actually lights up at night time, which is great. Over here, another couple of drawers. Um, this one's pretty much empty. We normally put uh, a lot of our drinks in here. It's a really deep, fairly large drawer. Uh, this one here has mainly got my tools in it, so... Um, I guess I got all sorts of things, you know, some socket spanners. Uh, I got some uh, cables here that you can lock up, you know, your fridges and secure any availables on the outside. And uh, obviously a torque wrench to, um, 
you know, torque up your wheel studs and things like that, and spare nuts and bolts and fuses and things like that. There's also uh, external lights, so there's one on this side, there's one at the rear, and there's actually two on the other side. They're all controlled from inside the uh, inside the van, but they're like little spotlights, floodlights, they're really good. So this is the 13 foot hybrid, and being the hybrid, this is the fold out bit that a lot of these different hybrids have. Um, actually, you guys got a, a locking, a couple of locking pins in here. Locking bolts, I should say. I've actually put some cable on the end of these and uh, and a little clip, so one you know you don't know, drop them and they get lost. And and also when it's actually set up and locked in place, they don't come undone. So that just quickly drops down, sitting on four struts. And I'll show you how quick this three foot extension comes out. So basically, our, our van's going to be three foot longer. This clothesline doesn't normally uh, come with the van either. That's one of our um, little add-ons. But that's it. That's how quick it is. I'm going to pop the roof up for you in a moment. It's just held down by four clips. Um, we use these uh, lynch pins to secure it. And what I do is just I open it up and um, I actually just slip the, the lynch pin back in through the hole and just clip it over there so it doesn't get in the way but uh, there's three more of those to do and it takes five seconds to do I'm going to introduce you to the inside shortly with uh, with calf uh, stairs are quite simply just pop out there electric now the important thing to remember before you open and close in the roof like we've removed all those uh, those pins there's a couple of pins inside as well is uh, you always open and close the rear first and make sure you've either got windows or a door open otherwise uh, you'll just get too much suction it'll be really hard to do but um, I'm going to hand you over to Kath. All right so this is our bed folded up here so now that Murray's opened up the back we can open this up so basically I just pull it back like this and then pull it out. It's as simple as that. I have got a mattress protector on it. Um, I sometimes have the sheets made up on it so it's ready to go and then I just put the quilt on it later once we've set up and everything like that. So now we're going to pop up the van. So first of all we have to take these pins out here. Um, so I just take that one out. Right. And then basically we just pop this up. So. So, okay, so now we just have to lift up the front bit, so that just goes up as easy as that. Alright, so Murray recently just put some Sirocco fans in, so they're only new, so that's something we're going to use more when we're off grid. We have got lighting um, on either side of the bed just so that you know they can come up and we can also charge our phones and everything on the little plugs there. We have got storage in the sides here so I keep things like these sand free towels and you know jackets and shoes and any bits of stuff that I might want in there like books. Um, Murray's got it on his side as well. I have got a little magazine rack 
sort of here or you can put anything in there really just a little storage uh, of course we've got the TV here as well which we do use if we're in a caravan park at night um, won't be using it off grid but we've got more storage and everything here as well uh, this is a cupboard so basically this is where we keep uh, things I actually use these storage cubes which I think are great for clothing so it's got a whole variety of different little bag sizes and I use this you know for any sort of traveling so basically all my shirts and everything go in there the shorts and I actually stack it in here I don't actually use this up here because I don't see any point of hanging clothes when we're going to be off grid most of the time anyway but I do store the towels and things like that in here um, and my clothing it just sort of stacks up in there so that's that one uh, this one here I've actually allowed Murray a couple of drawers so there you go that's for him and no a lie I do put some of my products in there as well but that is I've got to show you this perfect little bag to store things like the hairdryer and the brushes for us ladies draw down here isn't very big at all so but we do keep sort of shoes and everything in here like our reef shoes and thongs and stuff like that okay so this cupboard here I actually keep all my pots my wheeler pots and I've got you know picnic mat and all that sort of thing but all my fry pans and everything are actually down in there because there isn't a lot of room in this little cupboard um, but that's what I keep in there this one here, I actually just keep things like well, the dog water bowl and some items there for the barbecue out there as well. That's only a small little drawer. Okay, so we'll go over here and I'll show you the other drawers. This is where I actually keep all my dry goods and my, you know, my other packet materials like my dips and chips and all that sort of stuff. So all this sort of stuff goes in here. I guess to store everything in here, including our eggs, bread, all that sort of stuff. I bought these great little pouches from Kmart. They're actually a food pouch, but you can actually store things like, you know, like your um, chips and leftover things that you might want to keep mixed nuts and all that sort of stuff. So it comes in handy, especially when you need to, when you've opened the packet. The bottom drawer here I just store things like my toaster and all my glad wrap and foils and baking things and just tea towels and stuff like that so that's just for that one there okay up here this one's great for storage for all the glassware and but I actually use those polycarbonate um, glasses so that they don't damage um, just some little bowls and that dog food bowls you know all that little thing that we need a little storage for up here I just keep things like our plates and I keep a bowl. I put this non-slip uh, material on here as well just to stop things from moving around. But yeah, that's a kettle for when we are off grid. So I keep all that in there. And this cupboard here basically we just keep things like our cards and you know extra lighting and you know stereo and our fire extinguisher and mat and all that sort of stuff in here uh, the keys are kept here for the van just a power point there as well um, over here I just keep things like when we are at a caravan park just to you know keep our kettle in there and just some more dippy plates and this one here is basically just for cleaning and my washer bag and things for you know just laundry and cords and all that sort of thing there. Just going to go into the bathroom so we put this little design on the van so just to pre it up because I have got a tropical theme for our van. I'll just put the lighting on. So in here um, so basically we did put our own little curtain on here it's just a nice little rainforest feature then in here this is just a where we keep our toiletry bag so I keep a medical kit in here plus my toiletry bag Murray keeps his in there when he puts his in there we've got more cupboard space down here as well so that's just perfect you know for when we're traveling just all the soaps and extra toilet paper 
Um, we did put the fusion locks that we got from Bunnings. So we've got this one here, it's for the hand towel. I've got one for the toilet roll here. And um, a little caddy over here as well. We do store the shower head on the floor in a sock while we're traveling, but we do hang it up here once we're in use. Um, so everything just goes in there once we're all set up. So that's our shower and then obviously the toilet. So yeah, I've got some more fusion locks here. So we put ones here for the towels to hang on. Um, extra hooks here so I can hang my hat and Murray can hang his hat or whatever. We might need to hang something else. And I did put a little mirror one here because it's, you know, easy when I'm, you know, doing my hair or whatever, if we're at a van park. Um, these windows, just want to show you the windows. So, you know, that these open up. I like that. So we can either go that way or like that way. So you've got the little um, insect screen as well. Uh, this the window does actually open up as well so we can actually click that out right, so basically this window open so yeah easy enough to close so yeah it's got our control cabinet here um, water tank capacity um, as well as our grey water tank bolts in and out, light switches, power, you've got a Bluetooth stereo, um, you've got a remote switch for your inverter and uh, obviously the hot water switch as well and um, we've also got all the light switches as well as some um, 12 volt plugs etc. So in here um, this is our power plant so we've got our uh, big red arc 2000 watt inverter as well as our um, battery management system which is the BMS Red Arc 30. Uh, great quality pieces of kit both of them, um, obviously very expensive. Um, that's just a, another mod that I've put in there so that I can um, actually plug a portable solar panel into that front Anderson plug that uh, I was showing you before. Uh, we've got three uh, 120 amp uh, AGMs at the moment, they're uh, Renalgy uh, AGM batteries. Um, for a little bit longer anyway, um, I'm looking at uh, a lithium upgrade soon, so um, stay tuned for that one when we do it. Just under here, we've got um, a couple of little cabinets, so uh, we've got our water control as well as um, there's the battery backup for our breakaway system I was talking about, if the van comes uh, inadvertently loose. And um, over this side, you can see the back of uh, where we've got our shower. Some more water. We just got a little bit more storage in here, as well as um, you've got your uh, hot water system. I'll show you what we've got on top. So we've actually got four uh, 100 watt solar panels. They're Reynolds solar panels. Um, that's our TV aerial down the back. Works really well. We've never had an issue picking up any reception with television. There's the Truma reverse cycle aircon, which is an absolute treat. And here we've got a Dometic dust reduction system. Now. The van didn't come standard with this, uh, we actually put, that's one of our mods we've put on there. But anyway, that's a look at the top. Just the last thing I want to show you is the awning. So it's a two and a half by three and a half meter electric awning. You can manually wind it out if you, uh, if you want to. But um, I'm just going to pop it out. Just stay with the awning the whole time you're, you know, you're doing anything with it. But um, just in case the wind comes up. When it gets to a point, just support the weight of it as it comes out. And just here I've got my legs. We have our legs set up so that they, um, they go down to the ground. I'm just going to put them out ready now. you see fit but always put some fall on it so that the rain goes I usually try and run it to the back of, uh, of the van but yeah make sure you got some fall and it's high enough that you don't hit your head on it and it's electric like I said and it'll wind back in it by itself very shortly anyway that's uh, pretty much it for the walk around of the 13 um, 
And we're really happy with our 13, aren't we, Kath? Yeah, no, it's been really great. I absolutely adore it. And it was a step up from our camper trailer, so yeah, we really enjoy it. Yeah, we had the camper trail for eight years, so we're fairly new to, uh, not new to going off grid and camping and things like that. So, you know, this is definitely a step up for us and we're really happy. But look, do us a favour. Um, if you like the video, please just hit the like button and, and maybe we'll do another one uh, down the track. Cheers. See ya.